Water cast on tankers are a common sight in Makodi, the Benue state capital. This can be attributed to water shortage, which has for some time been a source of worry for residents. As non-flowing taps give them little option than to patronize water vendors. But there is also a problem of where the water is gotten from, which this environmentally says can lead to an outbreak. With this situation, water consumption is not healthy in Makodi because the, looking at the dump site around, uh, the, the medical waste, uh, uh, persistent organic pollutants uh, pollutant like, uh, uh, like, like pesticides, herbicides uh, containers over there. So these herbicide containers, you cannot treat them. But that is secondary to the residents who just need water at any cost for private and commercial purposes. It's about three days now where we didn't have water here. And the way the water, the, the way it, it are affecting our business is too much because this Ojiare, without this water, we, we do find difficult to wash people's car. And a true washing people's car, we do eat. And like this morning, I bought a truck of water from those Mala, about 300 naira. How much are we washing their car? Just 500 naira. As in my area, is a is almost a two months now there's no water because the pipes there's a broken pipe somewhere so i want the government to act fast so that we'll be able to get water there's nowhere in north bank that water is running from a government tap right now we are all uh, independent suppliers of our own water is it our wood streams or people who have uh, private boreholes are the ones who are going home happy what comes as a surprise to many is that despite the presence of approximately 1,400 kilometer stretch in the form of River Benue, the problem of scarcity persists. The authority responsible for ensuring water is adequately spread is the Benue State Water Board. So what does the general manager have to say about the problem? Benue State has to get a water law for herself. We have to get a water policy. Water policy is what will determine what we should do here. We have to do customer enumeration. We have to know each and everybody taking this water. We have to know how to build properly. And we have to know how to collect. And again, we have to train our manpower. Does it mean that nothing has been going on to get these issues resolved? There is some good news of a $2.5 million grant to service the water treatment plant. The hope on this is that the promise made by the government to resolve this issue does not go down the drain.